Hi there. Welcome to the cloud. Let's play some Disney Sorcerer's Arena. I will see you over there. So my friends, this is the one that a few of you have been asking for in the Discord and that is the Towers of Endurance and I'm going to make a video about this today because I think I'm at the point where I'm able to actually clear the third tower and I am on the third tower as you can see if we head on over. I managed to clear the first two of these quite a while back when they changed the format on us. I didn't realize that you would not be able to go and return to them so I can't take you through those. but the hardest of them all so far it seems to be this third tower and mostly because of this oceanic requirement up here some of the levels you can take in pretty much any characters you want as long as you have one um, oceanic character which most of you are going to have aerial and then you are going to require for the slightly higher tiers to have uh, at least two and for most of you that's going to be hook my problem is i can get up to about level seven or eight and then my hook just bites the dust he's just too low down too low starred and i'm not willing to invest a huge amount of gear and materials into him so also part of today i'm excited because even though i can get so far with hook when he dies i'm probably going to need another oceanic to clear the next level above that and that comes in the form of jack sparrow which if we go over here to the store as you can see you get jack sparrow as an exclusive out of your club exchange currency and i have enough to unlock jack here that's the last three that put me over the top and we should be able to get that nice little card introduction now that he is 51 for 50 there you go that's my brand new unlock jack sparrow so that is why he was relevant because tower number three requires oceanic so let's have a quick look at jack's kit here so hopefully today jack is going to help us clear this third tower but on top of that he is also an opponent in this third tower being an oceanic enemy and he is hard to get past on the stage you will see coming up you may also have run into him on the challenge for coins if you're grinding that out you will know that is a hard level to get past because he also has an extra buff that triggers this passive pieces of eight skill his others include his basic which at level two will give him a chance to heal himself and cleanse any debuffs he has on him but what really makes him annoying is the ability to charm which makes him one of the best characters in the game for crowd control because at level two he can charm up to two of your characters or in your case your opponents if you're using him and the inflicting charm is almost a hundred percent guaranteed i've not seen it not stick uh, on anyone but at least the second one is a 50% chance, but more often than not, when he is a computer controlled enemy, they are gonna stick as you will probably see in the tower here today. So that is a quick overview of Jack and let's unlock him now. In case we need to use him in this tower challenge, I'm gonna leave it for now because as we know, gold and materials are precious in this game and if we don't have to use them up to get by it is better to hoard and save them for any specific thing you are working on primarily your main squad so let's head on into this tower and i will show you how i go through it so i've been able to get up to this level here around eight and sometimes nine the main problem i have is keeping an oceanic character alive long enough if you are in the game starting out you will almost certainly get captain hook and ariel those will be the two oceanics that you require to go up these levels by the time you get up here to level eight of this tower you're going to have to take two in and you will need to keep taking two in for levels nine and the final level on 10 as well so if you can't keep them alive my hook is not hugely leveled up and i don't want to be wasting resources on him as we've just discussed then if he dies 
throughout the rest of your tower climb then you won't be able to proceed even if you clear the levels and thus far i have not managed to do that so hopefully today this will be the first time so here we go oceanic character one required and this is the team that i typically start with down here so i've been using the buzzard or triggers tower because it's good as an extra target for your opponents and duke kaboom is always good although possibly i'm thinking i may switch that up to iago because that's a great spell and i've just started using an unlocked foul play so let's just get into this battle the earlier stages are going to be quite easy if you are at a decent amount of power Okay, level one. Shan Yu is your absolute star here. For me, this climb has been so much easier. And as you can see, Shan Yu is just gonna straight up take out these mermaids, which are your danger characters on an opponents on this stage. These turtles don't do too much damage. You want to take out those mermaids as fast as possible. They can charm. They Pretty hard and on the later stages of this tower you will see they can one-shot some of your characters uh, my Mickey is near enough gear tier 5 and level 49 I think I ramped them all up to and he can get one-shotted by those mermaids on those later levels so this one here was an easy win at level 1 let's just charge through these early stages once you get those tips on what enemies are going to be coming up in these first few levels so let's go straight on in and number two pretty much use the same team up until the point you have to switch to a mixture of oceanic and kingdom And then you are free to use some others so then i'll bring in my heavy hitters to get through the level easier then but for now we're oceanic and kingdom again straight after the mermaid down she goes with that buff that aoe will take out the second mermaid i may as well use iago and get through this and then boom turtles not so difficult and that is level two as you can see for the first two levels there pretty much the same set of enemies this is where it's going to change up a bit you're still requiring kingdom and oceanic here so let's go on through if these load times get too bad there will be a few cuts here for you guys and i will skip through them All right, it's going to be the same tactic again very occasionally if you don't get through these guys fast enough they will all mass attack you due to their buffs they will all assist and you will literally have every single one of these come and one shot your character at the same time so right now the other thing to notice while going through the tower is speed meter this is how you get through the tower by losing a bunch of battles if you can't get past it initially back out go over here and forfeit the match because then you will reset your the state of your characters they will go back to whatever health pool and level you were at before you went into the match if you forfeit we're not going to do that right now we're going to resume but also what makes it what makes it you able to finish the tower is that it's these turn meters change all the time so that it gives you different tactical opportunities and uh, ways through the level so sometimes these mermaids will have nearly full turn meter to start the match and you just can't get by them because they get off their one shot and their charms too fast and take you down so this is something you need to be aware of and look out for when climbing towers is favorable turn meter from your opponents when you start so this one's looking pretty good for us because these mermaids which are the main threat are pretty low on turn meter and Shan Yu for me is definitely going to be able to take one of them out. I'm going to use this to put some offense, uh, defense down on these guys. And big hit for Mickey here. 
Mickey's gonna be great because he has speed turn meter reduction and you will be able to control some of these guys before they manage to go. You manage to take that mermaid down and then let's just send on Iago through. And this is actually going really well for me. It normally does up until we get to around level six, which you'll see. So usually use Ariel's heal here just to keep everyone topped up. If you can use a healer, uh, Ariel's healing ability early on when you're not under too much threat to make sure all your characters go in with full HP before a match. Even if you have to string it out by using your basics, if you know you're not going to get hit again, use that um, healing ability so that you don't go into matches down on life because this is an endurance tower and you're going to have to make it all the way through. So see, just like here, if you are going to take a hit like that just before it ends, then what I suggest you do is back out of here, which I'm going to do. Just so that I can clear the level and take my kingdom characters later on higher up when I really need them to be at full strength. So this is one of the main tactics of trying to clear the towers is making sure your best characters or the characters that are required stay healthy all the way through and if that means you have to redo a bunch of these battles over and over again then that's what you got to do because you will not get through it otherwise so maybe you'll get it as you can see they've got different levels of turn meter again i think this one's going to be okay i'm going to be able to take down these mermaids before they get a chance to do any major damage. Slow them down there and they are down. Again, let's throw them down with that spell. That didn't really seem to take many of them out. So those are the buffs you need to be aware of. If you see these guys come up with these buffs, make sure you are taking them out as soon as possible so that they don't all mass AOE attack you. I think we're going to be okay this time. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. That worked out pretty good. I would like to be able to get Ariel's heal off here for Aladdin, but I should be able to do that in the next round. Actually, you know what, just in case, I am going to back out and then we will edit around this so you guys don't have to watch me doing level 3 over and over again and we will move on through. So as you can see here, what we're talking about, the Termita this time around, this mermaid has nearly full turn meter but again it's probably not going to be an issue for me with my shanyu i'll be able to take her out but in your case you might not have a character fast enough to get ahead of them so just back out and try again until you get more favorable turn meter right now we should be able to take care of these guys pretty quickly again and hopefully you won't get anyone too damaged before we manage to get off ariel's heel and then finish the match off and move on through so Let's take the mermaids down, which they are gone. This is the buff you want to watch out for. If all of these guys manage to get off an attack and assist each other, they will easily take down one of your characters. And you don't want that happening when you're going through the tower. Okay, let's heal everyone up here. So hopefully this one's going to be best case scenario. Okay, Hook managed to use a passive thing that didn't actually do any damage, so we should get through. Boom, Shan Yu definitely going to take care of Hook there at such a low level, and we made it out with pretty much everyone at full life. So let's move on through to level 4, which is where you are now going to have to start taking in two oceanic characters, and your opponents are going to change up to these uh, little coconut guys and our little demigod there from Moana. So 
the team I start using from this point forward because you only now have to take into Oceanic but you don't have to use Kingdom. So the team I typically go with here is this next one up that I saved. And I was using Syndrome because of Stun but I've realized once I got my Shan Yu up to a high enough level I was able to one shot characters and get a second turn straight away. I leave the leadership ability on Ariel because this is an endurance event and you want them all to have as much life as possible. So this will be level four. This one's pretty straightforward. So this level is pretty straightforward. The Kokomara there, I don't know why we don't have demigod here as your main boss but basically I just AoE attack all of these guys with my big bad wolf mostly takes all of those out and then Demona cleans them up he'll pretty much always get invulnerable off which is a shame because he was just like one little sliver of life there from dying so all you have to do is just keep spamming your basics so you can get through this as fast as possible and hope he doesn't hit any of your characters that are going to need to survive or have a higher health pool later on so if we get around to Ariel again let's just trigger off this heal so everyone's topped up as much as possible and then down he goes. So sometimes you can get through him without him triggering invulnerable and you don't have to go through all that. Other times, most of the time, you're going to have to do that. So I believe five is where things start getting a little more interesting or maybe it's six. Okay, so this is where it starts getting a little more interesting. The danger characters you were looking out for here are this um, Captain Jack's crew here. These guys throw some kind of weird chain cannonball attack which does a lot of damage and can potentially one-shot your characters. So you want to take them out as fast as possible. Again, remember to check for turn meter. These guys are all pretty low. So we should be okay here and get through this without taking any damage to our main characters. But remember, these characters you will not be able to use until later anyway. So if you have a big enough of a roster, you can sacrifice a few. You won't have to keep backing out and going over this level again and again. So it seems to alternate once you get to this stage. You're going to have one easy match where it's a single uh, phase to get through. And then as you'll see on this next one on level 6 now, it's going to be a two phase battle uh, where you will face off against a kind of boss. In this one it's going to be Jack Sparrow. And as we were discussing, this is where it gets a little harder because he is a hard character to beat, especially when he is surrounded by a decent supporting crew. So the person I'm trying to protect here, obviously, are my two Oceanic characters because I need them to go forward. So if you need to back out of a match, those are the two you will be checking on if their health pools get too low at any point but hopefully we're going to have a good run and we'll only have to do this one time. So again, I'm going to be taking out the mermaids as fast as possible. It's not great that she resisted there, but I should be able to knock her out. So this for me is a balance of using a few of the specials to take out the mermaids quickly and then trying to slow this process down as much as possible to trigger Ariel's heal if you need it before you go further but right now we did pretty well so we don't need to do that and let's just get straight on through to phase two and again this is going to be a turn meter lottery not great these two characters here that represent the threat at the back they are nearly full turn meter and Jack Sparrow is also turn meter so I don't know how well this is going to turn out but let's just attack him so we can take him out as fast as possible why save big bad wolf aoe the 
but luckily they had my two seven star characters and they took the brunt of that but if that was to happen to captain hook here he would be down for the count and i would be restarting the match as it is i think with demona's aoe we're gonna be okay down they go and this guy most termite are about to go so let's just get up the spell and throw duke kaboom at him first hopefully this will take him out and then if not we have hook going next and we've cleared that pretty okay i'm getting pretty optimistic about this one that we're going to clear it on this run so as we go up the phases this is what i was saying you will get one hard one and then one easy one this is why i can always get to level seven of this tower because once i clear that i'm still allowed to take in these non-faction characters here with my big bad wolf and demona and just spam the dps and clear these levels really quickly but even if you don't have some of these characters like big bad wolf to back you up these in between levels are a lot easier now we, we're back to only having one phase to go through and if you have the ability to knock them out this quickly then you're going to find your climb a lot easier these guys here these little witch doctor guys they're not too difficult to get by they typically send off these healing spells first before they attack these jellyfish do a little bit of damage i'd say overall the main threat is going to be these jellyfish but they're all pretty slow so you should be able to take them all out before they get a chance to hit if not i'd suggest going after the jellyfish first and then clearing out those guys at the back because they're more likely to use assist abilities before they attack you and this is where we're going to run into some problems now it's level eight this is the hard one this is where these mermaids absolutely just one shot you like they're literally just called mermaid they don't have any other names but they will charm your characters or they will one shot your characters and tinkerbell with all her uh support uh, abilities is gonna just buff them and along with I was calling them witch doctors what they actually called these Atlanteans they're gonna get buffed like crazy with Tinkerbell so my tactic for this one is pretty much to stick with my Shan Yu because he's still uh, able to come in here with me and now I have no choice really but to bring in these kingdom characters and as you can see I've been doing it with um, these guys but I think Mickey's better off in here and we're going to bring in Aladdin for backup here because he will benefit from the slowdown because you need to slow these guys down as much as possible. Okay, Termite are not really on our side. Side, but let's see if we can do as much damage as possible to this first mermaid at this point Chan Yu is even at seven star near enough to gear six cannot take him out unfortunately they went straight after hook who we're trying to keep alive so let's use mickey's aoe and try and slow this entire team down and same again with aladdin use his aoe ability I think we may have to restart on this one. Try to heal up and keep Hook alive. Because once you clear this level, I'm pretty sure it's going to get easier again. We just need an Oceanic character. If we really need to bring in Jack Sparrow, then we have him in reserve. Right now, even though the initial attacks from these guys seem like it would be bad for us hook is surviving and we are taking him down before they get to him okay now we just need to control these jellyfish because they're going to have this uh, reciprocal damage spell so it might be a good idea to use our spells so i mean uh damage buff so ideally I want to send him Duke Kaboom to do some damage because it doesn't really matter if he takes a percentage of his own damage. He's a spell. So get Dispel with Ariel there 
and Shen Yu can take the damage, so I'll hit this jellyfish over here. Hook cannot, so we'll get him to hit the jellyfish, which does not have that ability on it. Same with Nikki, he's a little more fragile than the rest. Ooh, see? Hit right there. They you do not want your uh, squishier characters getting damaged on this part. Alright, we might be able to do this one big hit from Aladdin. Aladdin is very good for this challenge because he's got a lot of evasion. So if he starts taking the hits for you, then that's going to be RNG in your favor. Okay, so RNG for these mermaids, not too bad. And same for Tinkerbell, but let's try and take her down as fast as possible. I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to demonstrate how easy it is for these mermaids to one-shot your characters, but there you go. See, that is my problem right there with Hook. So I look like I will have to bring in Jack Sparrow. That is assuming we can keep Ariel alive through this, the rest of this match as well. So let's get Mickey to hopefully get some turn meter reduction and speed down. Okay, Shan, you should be able to take out Tinkerbell right there. And then we're going to just go straight after these mermaids again. Got a nice little secondary hit on the Atlantean. Hopefully they're going to go after Aladdin. And that would keep my Mickey alive. There you go. Almost on a cue, demonstrating why Aladdin is useful. And let's heal up and get Mickey and Aladdin a little life back. Let's try and take out this mermaid. Oh, that's not good. Getting charmed with my Shan Yu because he's going to hit one of my characters. And right now he hits pretty hard. There you go. See, he nearly took out my Mickey there. So that is why these mermaids are so dangerous on this tower. And there she goes. That is the mermaid or mermaid action. Ariel taking out the opposition. And now it's these Atlanteans, and you've just got to hope that they keep using their passive support abilities that don't require attacking you. And hopefully Mickey's going to make it through this battle. Ariel seems like she's going to survive, so we've got the other Oceanic, which we're going to require for level 9. We did it, guys. We made it past stage 8. Hook didn't come out of it, but that is why we have Jack Sparrow. Otherwise, I would be backing out and going at this again. So as we look towards level 9, hopefully being an easier stage, you've got Jellyfish and then you've got these Flying Dutchman crew. They're pretty vicious as well. They have potentially one-shotting abilities with some of their specials. And then we've been through the jellyfish, so I'm going to have to find my Jack Sparrow because my requirement is out. So who did they put in here instead? They put in Robin Hood. So let's get rid of Robin Hood and put Jack Sparrow in. We're going to have to level him up. I'm going to have to burn a whole bunch of coin. Which is pretty much everything I have. So let's just take him up to... 40 will probably help him survive. If we don't make it through, we're just going to back out. I was probably going to level him up anyway. But we're definitely going to have to do it for this challenge for him to survive and make it through to that final stage. I'm going to see if I can get away with not equipping any gear on him and just leaving him at tier 1. We're going to let these guys do all the work instead. We still got Shan Yu. Mickey might be a bit questionable on health pull, but hopefully we'll trigger off Ariel's heal before he goes down. Okay, turn meter are really not good. I mean, look at these guys. They're basically primed and ready to go, and I don't think Shan Yu's going to do it for me. Or maybe he will. Okay, so like I said, you're probably going to get one stage hard and one stage easy. This is the easy one, so I'm not looking forward to level 10. Let's check out some of Jack's abilities and see if they're going to help us. 
Oh, there you go. This is what I'm saying about one-shotting your characters. Aladdin is down, and I'm going to back out and retry. So what we really want them to do is have less turn meter, or ideally just go after my higher leveled up characters so that they can take the hits and spare these lower level because I think I'm going to need all I can get out of my abilities from Mickey and Aladdin to clear level 10. Okay, much better on the turn meter here. They are all low down, so I should be able to take out at least two of them before one even thinks about going and hopefully take out all of them. Oh, so close to Mickey dying. Um, yeah, I'll use the AOE here because the jellyfish don't have rebound on. Jack's got an AOE. This might actually help, so let's get our spells up and do as much damage to turn meter full guy here. Send in the Duke. Slow him down with Aladdin again and this one's gonna work out, I think. Buzzard doing his work. Aladdin can take a hit from a jellyfish, but not from that Flying Dutchman crew. Let's get Ariel's heal off. Oh, Mickey is so low in life there. I'd rather not be going forward with that low, but I don't think we're gonna be able to hold out long enough for Ariel to get another spell in. just take out these jellyfish before they decide to go and attack Mickey again. Did they hit Aladdin or did they hit my buzzard? I think they hit the buzzard there so that is why I recommend bringing him in. Big zappity zappity from Ariel. Is it going to be enough to take out this jellyfish? Not quite but we got another duke coming around. Should do some good damage. And Aladdin just what we really want is a massive hit from Shan Yu here. Or Buzzard should be able to do it at this level. Nope, big hit from Shan Yu is going to do it. And we are through and on to the final stage of the tower. Alright guys, long stretch, but uh, stick with me on this one. We're going to make it through and hopefully clear this tower. So the other thing you want to consider when you get towards ending a tower is do you actually want to finish the tower? I know this sounds crazy, but I already have Peter Pan's spell, I think, unlocked, and this is all I'm gonna get out of this chest, probably a few other goodies, but that's the main thing that it pays out. Daily, though, I could get all these levels and keep racking in these tokens for the exchange door, for the tower exchange door. And that's where you're going to be able to buy a bunch of those spell tokens using this currency. Now, if you get onto the next tower and you can't clear more than the first level daily, all you're going to get is 100 because you're only going to be able to clear level number one, maybe level number two, and you're going to be limiting the amount of currency that you get. So this is a decision you're going to have to balance up for yourself where you are at in the game as to whether you actually want to finish a tower and move on to the next one if you don't think you can get that high up and get the maximum amount of currency you can daily from these towers. So for me I think it's worth the gamble. I'm pretty happy with where my spell library is at and I'm kind of sick of doing this hard level with Jack Sparrow and getting killed by those uh, mermaids so I'm gonna do my best uh, for both the video and my sanity to clear this level 10 here and uh, I think we're gonna be taking in the same team we got Mickey I mean if he really goes down I guess we can back out and try again with who else we got left in reserve pretty much Jasmine and Robin Hood so we're we're looking at the best team that I have going forward here, even though Mickey's a little down. I'm thinking maybe take out Duke Kaboom for foul play here. Definitely keep the buzzard. You saw the benefits of it there. All right, guys, this is it. Level 10, Tower 3. Let's do it.
okay this is going to be one of those hard ones where you've got two stages um i don't really know what the threat here is going to be we know the jellyfish can hit hard we also know these jolly roger crew do some damage with buff going so like that so um right i'm just gonna do what i can get through here without losing oh jellyfish even managed to take a massive chunk out of shan yu there this is gonna be tough oh everyone's attacking him now all right we really need that heal from ariel um i think these jellyfish are gonna be more of a threat so let's try and take these guys out nice little assist from mickey oh great secondary hit from shan yu getting his revenge there all right heal from ariel as you can see heal in end game not so great but when you're talking about the tower every little bit is gonna help i think this jellyfish is about to go so hopefully aladdin and not going to be enough to take that jellyfish down. They really got it in for Shan Yu right now. All right, let's give him another target. And zap that spell through. Jellyfish down. Coconut head down. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this stage. I mean, you got Davy Jones at the back here, but for some reason it always seems to tell you that the boss for the stage is one of these minor characters now we've got this flying dutchman crew here and their turn meters up so i'm just gonna have to go after them and i hope the best oh silenced on era well it's okay she doesn't have a healing ability coming around yet Oh, Shan Yu's down. I don't think we're going to do it this time. No, Mickey down too. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going to keep plugging away at this. It was stuck with me this far. This is obviously probably going to end up as a long form streaming video. I'm probably going to edit down a little more bite sized version of this. But if you're here with me on the long haul, thanks for staying around. All right. One more try. Turn meter seems reasonably favorable. Nope, they're just going straight after Mickey. This is not great. Okay, Aladdin can take a little bit of a beating. It's still pretty squishy compared to my seven stars. Okay, we really need to be taking these jellyfish out as fast as possible. Right, heal up. Oh, still not great. Mickey is not going to survive this very well. Come on. Let's get rid of this jellyfish. And we really need to get rid of this crew before they get to go, but full of turn meter right now. Oh! Not that I think he was that useful anyway, so let's just see how far we can get without him. Right, jellyfish down before it gets that buff up. Is it Kokomoras? The coconut heads? Oh, there goes Mickey as well. I don't know how well we're going to do in this. One shot Aladdin down, and this is not looking good. Nope, we are dead in the water here. So this is literally going to be a case of RNG, you're just going to have to keep plugging away at this. 
but this is the one that we end up doing on in the shorter edit this is attempt number three i think so hopefully this one's the one Okay, might have to change my tactic here. Okay. That's yeah, great. We got a base going up. Then he's gonna survive a little longer. Slow all these guys down. Oh, Mickey straight down. Nope, this is not the one. I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Okay, this is attempt number four. Not loving the amount of turn meter on this guy. Okay, so this might be the tactic is take out Jolly Roger crew first. I might need to level Jack up. Okay, this seems to be working pretty good. Jolly Roger, oh, Shan Yu taking such a beating from tiny little Kokomora there. Let's heal up and hope he can survive. Now he's got damage over time on him as well. I don't think we're gonna do this. Nope, Shan Yu's down. We are dead in the water. Okay, this is attempt number seven. Let's go after this Jolly Roger crew again. That seems to be the best tactic. At least take one of them straight down. Okay, jellyfish look like they're gonna go. Let's try and get slow down on them. Let's take out the Jolly Roger crew. Get a nice secondary hit there. Let's see if we can't get Shen Yu a little. Oh, down goes Jack. Yeah, I don't even think gearing him up that much will help at all. It's just gonna have to be the sacrifice because I'm pretty sure if I manage to get hooked through to here. On the few times that I have, he went down as well anyway, and I got real close, so... Mickey just about holding on there. Let's see how far we can get with just basics so that we can get aerial healing ability to come around again. I think it's probably safer just to go ahead and knock this guy down, which Shanyu was always going to do anyway, and see how far we can get. Okay. Foul play there, doing some damage. Let's see if we can get through to this crew member. Oh, barely hanging on there, lad. Okay, just, yep, that's right. Keep hitting arrow. She's seven stars. She can take a few hits. Okay, Shan, you can take a few, but maybe not as many. Um, who's the threat here? Okay, you're pretty low in life, so let's try and take out you with Shan Yu's big hit. And this is going to keep happening. Davy Jones is going to keep bringing these guys in. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, that's because I've got two times the offense up here. So let's send in foul play and try and take out that row as well. Popped up another one. Right, jellyfish looks prone to go down. That's the wrong jellyfish. Okay. Aladdin's got magic carpet coming through. Let's try and slow this entire back row down. This is the closest we're getting so far, guys. Jellyfish down and some excellent side attacks there. Secondary attacks from Ariel's basic. Okay, who's the threat now? Hopefully we'll get some reduced turn meter using Mickey. And we're very close to Ariel's healing ability coming around again. Down goes Aladdin. We got another crew member pop up. 
really gonna need some AOE here sooner than later. I don't know if taking down Davy Jones will take everyone down with him. Gambling on this. Okay, got a second hit to take down Jellyfish. Mickey's down. We're down to Shan Yu and Buzzard is down as well. Oh, Shan Yu's about to go down. Come on, need some big time damage from foul play here. All right, let's see and gamble if taking down Davy Jones is gonna take the crew down. Nope, there's his chest. All right, heal ability might keep him. Oh, do I take down this crew member or do I try and heal Shan Yu? This is probably not gonna be enough to save him. Right, uh, I'm gonna have to take this crew member down and take the risk that he hits Ariel. Oh, gamble paid off. Here we go. Okay. Big hit from Shan Yu. Oh, I think we did it. We did it, guys. Unbelievable. We managed to clear level 10 of the Tower of Endurance. We just have to take care of this Davy Jones locker here. Just for my own satisfaction, I'm going to heal up here. Make me feel a little bit better. And then Shan Yu is going to bust open this chest. And that is level 10, hour three, done. All right, guys, thank you for sticking with me if you're on the long haul of this video, if you're in the edit. Oh boy, this is uh, not easy at all once you get up to the final level and just getting through any tower, depending on your power level, is a grind as you can see here today. So. If you really want to go and see me do the entire grind, go find the link to that video. It's up there. It's probably at this point, I think we're nearly an hour in, so treat it as a stream. Feel free to skip through all of that and get to the bits you want, but I'm, I'm going to bask in the glory of these fireworks while I ramble on here to wrap this up. Woo! That was a long one, and we nearly didn't do it there. We lost pretty much everyone apart from my two seven stars and they are pretty well geared as well that's what it takes to get through tower three of the towers of endurance and the sweet sweet rewards is this chest right here and what are we going to get out of this all right any climactic that we go back to just the cards but See, let's go backwards so we get this shiny one here. No, I don't want to press that one first. We're going backwards. Okay, we got 5,000 tokens. So for clearing the tower three, you get 5,000 tokens to spend in the exchange store. I can't remember getting those for the first two, but comment down below and let me know if that's what happened to you new global players when you cleared your first tower. And we've got some of the pigment there to upgrade spells. We got some of the Lucent Ink to do the same, and then this, I'm pretty much guessing, is going to be the spell token for Peter Pan, his shadow. And it's not even a full unlock, it is 30 of them. So, unless I, yeah, did I say I've already unlocked him? So this would be the next stage up. So I guess you will be getting the unlock of Peter Pan's shadow, because 30 will unlock him at base level. So there we have it guys, that is it, that is Tower of Endurance 3, that was difficult, so I'm going to leave it here on this victory screen and let things float by and reflect on the epic journey that was Tower of Endurance, Tower number 3, hopefully you guys found that useful, it was a long haul if you stuck with the long version of the video. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. And next time your head is in the clouds up here in the towers, I will see you again.